Forgive until a healing takes place. Forgive until there is nothing left to be forgiven, but never condemn. Never judge. Judge not after appearances. Judge righteous judgment. Never condemn. And if this is the law, what do you think of God who gave this law? What do you think of God who has given this message to the master of forgiveness, of not holding in judgment, of not punishing? It must have been not Jesus' message, for he said, this message is not mine. This comes from the God, the Father, that sent me to do this work. If I speak of myself, I bear witness to a lie. This message of forgiveness, this message of life eternal, is from the Father. And so it is that while we are punished for our sins by our sins, we are only punished as long as the sin continues. And the very moment that we look up, in that moment, though our sins were scarlet, we are now white as snow. And we do not have to wait for death to give us forgiveness. Our forgiveness is at the instant of our turning, at the instance of our repentance, at the instance of our recognition of our wrong. Therefore, do not accept the belief that whatever name or nature of discord that you are suffering, do not believe that this is of God or that God is the author of your suffering, or the cause of your suffering, not even for a good reason. For there is no good reason ever revealed by the Master. The Master's revelation is, neither do I condemn thee, I forgive thee. Thy sins be forgiven thee, regardless of their name or nature. Then, when you have agreed within yourself that God is not the author of your discords, of your inharmonies, of your mental, physical, moral, or financial troubles, you have done, taken one great step, you have at least released yourself from the belief that God is holding you in bondage. When you take the next step and realize that there is no power outside of your own being responsible for your ills, you are prepared to take the next step, and that is agree that whatever the suffering, whatever its nature, whatever the lack or limitation in your life, is due to something within you, not something outside of you. And that there is nobody in heaven or on earth, or in the hells beneath the earth, responsible for this condition. And therefore, I must now discover wherein is the fault and correct it. And let us agree with the Master. Ye shall know the truth, and the truth will make you free. 